and just means beer and pizza, which is always good. Hi guys, welcome back to the Yorkshire Modeler. A little bit later than normal. Um, I've been at work all day and not really had much sleep the day before coming back from holiday. So sorry it's a little bit later, but we do have issue 23 of Hachette Partworks Battleship Bismarck. So in issue 23, um, we get the next hull section, the next part of the superstructure, um, some superstructure deck plant on details, um, a connector to connect um, the deck, the sorry, the um, hull section onto what we've already done. Um, PM, PB, screws, and then we get the tiny little screwdriver as well. And when I say tiny little screwdriver, it is tiny. Um, so I've got all the parts ready for you here. I'll just move the bag of screws over, cut that open actually. So I've got those ready. So. Put those just here so we can see what we're doing. So there we go, there's all the black ones and there's the silver ones there. Make sure there's nothing left in the case. No. Okay, so the first part of the instructions are continuing the hull assembly. So take the hull sections from issue 20. Fit the upper port section of the hull 23.1 along the upper edge of the lower port hull section 15.1 as indicated by the arrows. So, basically, that's the bit we get this week, attaching it onto the port side of what we've already done. So, if I bring that in and I also bring this in. Just line this all up that way around. So that way. Nope, it's that way. So dark uh, dark grey bit goes towards the bottom. And then you just clip it in that way. So it lines up with the two holes, one there, and then one just there. Now we'll keep flopping back because there's nothing attaching it to anything yet. Um, so fix in place with two PM screws and they are the silver ones. So. So I hope you've all had a good couple of weeks. Um, 23, 24 and 25 of um, this build are all going to be over the next couple of days. Issue 25 came out yesterday, so I'm going to try and get 23 and 24 done so I can upload kind of one every other day. Um, and then 25 should hopefully be on Tuesday, but I'll go through all that again in a minute with you. Um So, the part three of the instructions say, don't worry if there's a gap between 23.1 and the forward section of the hull, um, which is that bit there, and there is a gap there, but we do get this connector as well this week, or with this issue. So, this goes on these two holes. Let me just move this out, this connector. So, we've screwed in there and there, and then you've got these two holes, one there and one there. So these two, and that's what this is going to attach on to. Now, there are a couple of little, um, tiny little holes, ne not holes, sorry, pegs. So one there and one there. And then on this, you've got two holes either side. So one here and then one over here. And what they do is they sit in position so it holds everything together. Um, so... Fit the connector 23.2 onto the raised sockets of the hull uh, 23.1 and 11.1. Fix the connector in place with two silver PM screws. As you tighten the screws, the gap in the hull sections will disappear. So, if I just get a screw on here. There we go. 
Now this is why they give you that tiny little screwdriver. Where did I put it? Because there's not a lot of room in here at the moment to be messing about with. So tighten up as far as it go. There we are. And then I'm gonna use my magnetic one just to get the other screw into position and then use the tiny little screwdriver again to try and get that as tight as it will go there we are just take a couple of attempts sometimes just to get it to to get the screw to bite and there we go so i'm just going to use my big screwdriver one more time just to tighten these up as far as they'll go. I'm just going to struggle actually with that one. Oh, that might be alright. If you've got like a bigger screwdriver like I have, you're going to have to go in at an angle with that one there um, just to try and get it to sit in properly. There we go. And now there is very little gap. A tiny little bit, but nothing too major. So that's the um, the next part of the hull all done. Uh, fitting the superstructure deck sections together. So we do get another part of the superstructure deck. So you're going to need the bits we've done up to now. And the bit we get this week. And this is where your um, PB screws come in. So we need three PB screws. So if we get three of them over here and then turn everything over. Now the section we get this week is just gray. There's nothing on it, but there is like a little lip, that bit there, that just clips into there like that. And then we just screw the three screws into each of these holes. That connects all this together. One, two, and last but not least, three. So that's the next bit of the superstructure deck, and if we bring that over here and show you kind of what that looks like, so it's starting to look a little bit better. Now we do also get some um, plant on details as well this week. So we get three little plant on bits. Where's my clippers? There we are. So just got this tiny little sprue with just. Um, there's three, yep, yeah, just three plant on details on there, and those bits go on next. So now that's all screwed up together. You've got C1 and C C1, C2, and C3. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these all off the sprues and then just line them up. So if you're looking at the sprue this way, you've got C1 there, C2. C3. So if I just clip these off, being careful not to cut the pegs themselves off, because I have done that before on this build, and it's not interest, not fun trying to put them, glue them onto a model when all you can do is glue flat piece to flat piece. It's always good if you've got that little peg there. So. Now then, super glue. Ooh, might need a new pot for this soon. There we go. So we need a bit of glue. Cocktail stick. So one, two, and three. So let's have a look on here. So. C1, the bit we've attached today, this bit, C1 where you've got the join line there, 
So that join line that kind of runs up there. C1 goes in the two holes at the top there and there. So now the two little pins that are kind of on this side just here need to go into the two holes. And that should bite quite quickly. So that's part one in. Then C2 goes straight in the two holes just there underneath C1, the part we've just attached. It's just those two holes just, whoops, get this on the right side, just there. So this is kind of the good thing or what I like about when you're building and you've only got like a few little pieces. Um because you just cut them all off the sprue and then glue them all on as quick as you can. And that's the right positioning for that piece. So it's like it's got the little nub bit sticking forward, so towards the decked area. And then if we turn the whole assembly round, part C3 goes in those two holes at the top just there, so that one and that one. So just those two. It's nice as well when you get only a few little sprues because you can just take your time a little bit more. You don't have to feel like you're rushing anything. But that's all on. So that's all the pieces for issue 23. And then, like I said before, this is starting to get a little bit of shape coming to it. Obviously, this is going to be for um, where the main part of the superstructure deck starts to come up, but hopefully we'll be getting that all soon. Right, guys, so that's the end of issue 23. Issue 24, we get a couple more sections for the superstructure and some plant-on details for it as well. Um, sorry that there's not, not been anything for a couple of weeks for the Bismarck Um like I said before, I've been on holiday. Um, I have uploaded, obviously, the um, the Aston Martin build. Um, so please check that out as well. Um, the next ones of that should be here within the next couple of weeks. I think they're about the 15th of every month. So that should be coming soon as well. Um, what I'm going to try and do with the couple of issues that I've missed, so it's 23, 24 and 25, is try and upload them a little bit quicker. So I'm going to try and get this one out on Friday morning. Um, then I'll try and get issue 24 out on Sunday morning and I'll try and get issue 25 out on Tuesday morning ready for um, 20, issue 26 um, to be back out on Thursday um, the, what we on today, the 8th, so about the 15th. Um, and then obviously normal service will be resumed. Um, so thanks for your patience while I was away. The Aston Martin one should be here soon. Um, that will be on a Monday. Um, the Bismarck will continue being on a Thursday. And then I'm hoping to get some kind of geeky things to, to put onto the channel, whether it's Wargaming um, or... Um, whether it's Wargaming or, you know, geeky stuff. Um, I'm considering a build of either Mjolnir or Stormbreaker. Um, because me and a friend of mine and my wife are going to London Comic Con next July, so I want to I want to go as Thor. Um, he my mate's already got a Loki cosplay, so I want to try and get a Thor one, um, which is good now that Endgame's out because I'm not exactly the slimmest person in the world, and I can do Thor from Avengers Endgame. Um, just means beer and pizza, which is always good. Um, so yeah, uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Yorkshire Modeler. If you subscribed, um, remember to click on the bell icon and change it to all. Then you get a, then you get a notification for every time I upload anything, um, whether it's the Bismarck, whether it's um, the Aston Martin. As I say, Wargaming, I'm thinking of doing something like um, Black Powder from Warlord Games. I do bolt action anyway. Um, I also do Lord of the Rings from, well, Middle Earth. Um, from Games Workshop so I'm going to try and get some more of that sort of stuff on the channel and when I eventually start the Mjolnir or Stormbreaker um, builds 
I'll do that on here as well. So, but yeah, that'll be part of the the props and stuff section. Um, but until next time, which might only be a couple of days, um, take care and happy modelling, guys.